Greetings from Blacksburg. I know all of you are concerned about the state budget. We, uh, it's been in the news quite a bit and everyone's wondering if we will have one before the beginning of the next fiscal year. Indications are that we're very hopeful that that will happen and we'll be able to continue on as planned. And so as we know more, we'll let you know. But uh, you see as much as I do in, in the news. Other things that are happening, um, the state ELC is going to meet this week uh, by Polycom. We're going to do that for the first time as a way of, of testing the system and see if we can't build upon that and perhaps meet more frequently and involve more people in that process. I'm sure that your uh, PD representatives for uh, the ELC will let you know how that goes and, and we'll be looking forward to future opportunities with that. Um, leadership is an important part of Virginia Cooperative Extension and we really support people stepping up to be leaders in their community, within the organization, and within their professions. And, and this last week I had the opportunity to be a part of the graduation for the Virginia Natural Resources Leadership Institute. Um, in the cohort that was graduating we had four Extension people. Uh, Dan Gorlick, Central District Director, Dave Close in the Horticulture Department, Martha Walker, Community Viability Specialist, and Alicia Crawl, who is the Master Naturalist Coordinator. And so we're very proud of all of them for participating in that, as, as well as all the people that have participated in past years. Uh, this year also in the National LEAD 21 program, we've had Lonnie Johnson, Senior District Director, and Steve Blank, who is the head of the Department of Agriculture and Applied Economics. So we're grateful to all of them for taking the time and stepping up to be leaders um, in Virginia Cooperative Extension. And then finally, we have uh, the uh, 4-H Congress coming up next week and uh, on Wednesday there will be the celebration of the centennial with a big luncheon and looking forward to that as well as later in the week uh, the 50th anniversary celebration at the W.E. Skelton 4-H Center and so we are celebrating a lot and really letting people know about the history of extension and the future that we have and so we look forward to ad additional celebrations uh, in the coming weeks and we'll keep you posted on how those things go. And then finally, I just want people to uh, find time this summer to spend it with family and friends and get some relaxation and enjoy the great weather because we, uh, we work hard, but we need to also take time for ourselves, and I encourage you to do that. So until later, thank you.